Hey everyone, Logan here with the Emotion Design Advocate team and today I'm going to be showing you how to add images to video in Fable. Now adding images into your project is actually pretty simple. All you need to do is drag and drop an image onto either your canvas or your timeline and Fable is going to handle the rest. It's going to upload it and process it for you and it's going to add it into your asset panel for you. Now another way I can add some images into my project is by clicking this upload media button in my asset panel. And this is going to allow me to upload several images all at once. And here we can see that Fable is now uploading and processing these eight files. I can actually collapse this little loading window. And you'll notice that it didn't add these photos down into my timeline. It's not an active part of my project just yet. It's still just in the asset panel. And that's the main difference between these two methods. If you drag and drop an element onto your canvas or timeline, it is going to become an active part of your animation versus uploading it using the upload media button is just simply going to add it to the available assets that you can use, but it's not adding it to your layer list just yet. So if we take a look at the photo that I uploaded, it's a little bit too large for the canvas and I need to resize it. I can either do that by changing the path values over here, or I can simply zoom out and use my mouse to do that and resize it using the bounding box. So I'm going to zoom out by holding command and hitting the minus button. I can also zoom out a lot faster by holding command and scrolling down on my mouse. Here we can see the bounding box is much larger than our canvas. So we're just going to hold shift and alt and then resize this down until the, the grid lines show up to show us that it is the same size as the original image from the very beginning. Now I'm going to zoom back in to my screen by holding command and hitting zero. And that is going to zoom to fit, which we can see all of our view options over here and the keyboard shortcuts to how you can quickly zoom in and out. Now, if I close my asset panel, I'm actually going to delete this first photo because I want to replace the original photo, but instead of trying to match all the effects and everything I have from the first layer, I'm just going to delete this image. And then if I unlock this layer and select this image, I can come over here to my properties panel. And you can see here that down here in the fill section, if I click on this, that the options are to have a solid color, a gradient, or an image fill is what we have right now. You could also apply this image fill to any kind of shape or any kind of vector shape that you have in your project. Just a little pro tip there. And if I wanted to swap this out for a different picture, say I wanted to swap it out for this Unity, I just have all of my available assets that I've uploaded down here. I can click that and just easily up update this. And then if I play this back, you'll see that it is the new photo. And that's how easy it is to add images to video in Fable. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below the like button, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.